Honestly, it's not a great poncho. It's really short in the front, and the, uh, the snaps on the side don't seem to stay snapped very well. It's kind of awkward. It looks really funny. I, everybody who went camping with laughed at me. Uh, but it's got this like fleece lining on the inside, which makes it way, way too warm. Uh, I can't see a situation where I would want a poncho this warm. If I was out and it was a cooler day, I would be already dressed for the warmth of the temperatures. So it doesn't really make sense to me to have a poncho this warm. And I know they say you can also get blankets, but I'm not sure why you wouldn't just pack a blanket instead. Uh, I'll, I'll get some pictures of, or a video of the backpack in, in backpack form later when this thing dries out. Because it doesn't seem like it will dry super fast. Okay, so it's the next day. This thing dried um, from the rain, and I'm going to be folding it back up. It comes with this instruction booklet. I don't think there's any way I could figure this out without it. Maybe if I did it enough times, but it's kind of a complicated fold. It's like, poor guy. It looks nice. It's kind of fashionable. Um, a couple, the couple bags come come off when you turn it into a pack. It comes with a, it comes with a like drawstring bag that you can use to put your stuff in if you need to take all the stuff out of the main pocket. Um, I don't think that the main pocket. It, it, it looks like it's a it's a decent sized backpack, but because of all the folds and the rest of the poncho blanket thing. Um, there's not as much space as you'd think there'd be. There are two nice um, pockets for water bottles. And um, one thing I'll, I'll show you in just a second is the how the straps are there. The straps themselves are not very padded at all. I would I would expect these because the you know, the material itself is very high end. Um, at least it feels high and it feels really good quality, like durable, heavy duty. But the pad, there's no like, there's barely any padding in the shoulder strap. So I, I would expect that to be thicker, more comfortable. It's not uncomfortable, but I, I could see it being uncomfortable after a, after a decent hike, uh, if, you have to, if you have a decent amount of weight in there too. Um, I'm gonna put this on real quick and get back to you. Okay, so as a backpack, it's pretty, it's, I mean, with nothing in it right now, it's decently comfortable. One thing I would notice that it's very heavy, um, just because of all the extra material inside and the fact that there's the heavier duty kind of canvasy material and then the, the fleece lining. It's just, there's just a lot more weight to it because of all the extra material. Um, one thing I noticed, the sizing is a little bit interesting. Uh, the, I, right now, currently, I have the shoulder straps pretty much as loose as they can go. The chest strap has tons of extra material. Same with the same with the lower one. I mean, the, ideally, these would be shorter. I might, I'm, if I'm going to use this one, I might actually cut them off and just burn off the ends so they don't so they don't fray. But um, so there's that. Like I said before, like the, the uh, well actually the chest strap is adjustable, you can go up and down. The lower one is also adjustable. I haven't, I haven't played with it too much to see what the most comfortable one is because I haven't taken this with a lot, with any, any sort of weight on it. But um, as a backpack, it's, it's a decent backpack. It looks nice. It doesn't have a zipper on the top. So if you're gonna be throwing it around, throwing it around it just has those two clips and you just have to make sure that things aren't going to fall out. 
but there are the two the two smaller pouches um, do have zippers, so you can put put anything like that in those in those pockets. Um, like I said earlier, as a concept itself, the uh, I'm not I'm not so I'm not sold on the concept of having a backpack that turns into a poncho. The poncho is not great. The backpack isn't amazing either. It's functional, but it's not amazing. Um, I wouldn't. Uh, this wouldn't be something I would plan on using as a poncho. Um, if you, I mean, it does it does work as a blanket pretty well. It's pretty warm. It's kind of weird with all the flat the flappy flaps on it and the straps and all that, but it functions decently well. But it's a halfway decent backpack. I, I'd say the price is way too high for what it is. The quality is good. It's Yep, that's the Rome pack from Rome Outdoors, and I'm a, a ranger reviewer for the dirt at Devil's River Campground in Maribel, Wisconsin.